Hi, today we will be continuing our topic on subtraction uh, and we will learn how to break a number up in order to do subtraction more effectively. Let's try out the first example. Let's say we have 13 minus 8 which will give us. We can break 13 into two numbers. And break 13 into two numbers. 13 we break into 10 and 3. We will always take the 10 to minus the smaller number. So 10 minus 8 will give us 2. And we still have 3 here, so we need to add back the 3, which is plus 3, which will give us the final answer of 5. Let's try another question. Let's say we have 15 minus 7 and then will give us, we break 15 up, 15 we can break into two numbers, one we have 10 and the other we will have 5. Then we use 10 to minus 7, 10 minus 7 Will give us 3. We need to add back to 5 and therefore 15 minus 7 will give us 8. Let's try one last, last example. Let's say we have 12 minus 7 equals we can break 12 into two numbers. We can have 12, we can break into 10, and break into, and the other number will be 2. 10 minus 7 will give us 3. And we still have 2 here, so we add back the 2, which will give us the answer 5. This method is very useful when we have a very big number in front and we have uh, not, uh, not uh, a smaller number in the second in the second portion. Uh, it is faster than counting backwards especially when if you want to count backwards like you have 8 and then you are counting back from 8 and sometimes you will have like careless mistakes then we will lose marks for nothing. So this method is very good. We will write everything down and we can always check the answer again. So practice more and happy learning.